berhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan Hip-hop, hip-hop Waktu kita berjalan Bersedia kan kita Nah tunggu apa lagi Mari berjaya Cita-cita pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan Hip-hop, hip-hop Waktu kita berjalan Bersedia kan kita Nah tunggu apa lagi Mari berjaya Cita-cita pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan Hip-hop, hip-hop Waktu kita berjalan Bersedia kan kita Nah tunggu apa lagi Mari berjaya Cita-cita pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan Hip-hop, hip-hop Waktu kita berjalan Bersedia kan kita Nah tunggu apa lagi Mari berjaya Cita-cita pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan Hip-hop, hip-hop Waktu kita berjalan Bersedia kan kita Nah tunggu apa lagi Mari berjaya Cita-cita pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan Hip-hop, hip-hop Waktu kita berjalan Bersedia kan kita Nah tunggu apa lagi Mari berjaya Cita-cita pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan Hip-hop, hip-hop Waktu kita berjalan Bersedia kan kita Nah tunggu apa lagi Mari berjaya Cita-cita pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan Hip-hop, hip-hop Inilah permulaan Melakar cita-cita pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua menuju kejayaan
Apa itu Moodle? Moodle merupakan website perisian pengurusan pembelajaran iaitu Learning Management Software yang IMPA SPM gunakan sebagai platform pembelajaran secara maya. Kelebihan Moodle Penyimpanan arkib nota dan latihan enam subjek teras SPM boleh diakses dan dimuat turun pada bila-bila masa. Boleh diakses tanpa capaian internet. Rakaman sesi live bersama Guru Cermerlang, MGCNK. Latihan dan pencapaian pelajar dipantau. Boleh diakses menggunakan pelbagai peranti. Komputer peribadi, tablet dan juga telefon pintar. Moodle merupakan aplikasi mesra pengguna dan senang digunakan. Jadi, apa tunggu lagi? Mari sertai kami untuk Impact SPM 2022. Mudah, pantas dan bermanfaat. Inilah permulaan Melakar cita-cita Pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua Tahun 2021 merupakan tahun mencabar buat semua pelajar SPM 2021. Ramai yang tercicir dan ketinggalan disebabkan perubahan gaya pembelajaran yang dulunya bersemuka dan kini ke alam maya. Oleh itu, Yayasan Impak terpanggil untuk bersama-sama mengatasi masalah ini. Akhirnya, Impak SPM 2021 dapat membantu pelajar SPM get back on the track. Dengan tenaga pengajar dari Majlis Guru Cemelang Negeri Kedah disokong oleh Majlis Pengetua Sekolah Malaysia, anjuran bersama Yayasan Sultanah Bahia YSP mendapat dukungan KPM dan JPN berkat sumbangan para penaja program impak SPM 2021 dapat dilaksanakan dengan jayanya Yayasan Impak mengucapkan setinggi-tinggi penghargaan kepada penyumbang yang telah memberikan sumbangan dalam merealisasikan kejayaan program Yayasan Impak Terima kasih kepada para penaja yang telah banyak menyumbang. Salurkan sumbangan anda bersama membantu pelajar yang terjejas dan ketinggalan dengan IMPA SPM 2022.
Sekedar cita-cita Pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua Menuju kejayaan Hipa Hipa Inilah permulaan Melakar cita-cita Pasti akan terhasil Ayo kita semua Menuju kejayaan Hipa Hipa Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Evening. Okay, how are you Imran? Alhamdulillah, fine. Where how are you? What about you? Alhamdulillah, where are you right now? <coughs> I'm comfortably in my own home. What about you? <laughs> I am currently in KL on my holiday. <laughs> But um, yes, yeah. life goes on. We have to uh, carry on with our class tonight. And I am very excited uh, because this is my first session with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And tonight we'll be sharing some wonderful tips with our students. Isn't it? Yes. All right. So students, uh, so your teacher Aiman, your Madam Aiman is trying her best, even though she is on her holiday, to give you an interesting topic for today, which is writing part three review easy easy tips and tricks to score well so my for my part i will only introduce you a bit what review is even though i know most of you already know what review is and then uh, Mr. Aman will take it from there to give you a lot of tips and tricks to score very 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 well hopefully for your review okay all right so Ready, shall everyone? i start please write in the comment section if you have any question okay because um we really hope that by the end of today's lesson you will be able to grasp all the strategies that we will share tonight okay yes all right okay so start with our slides the ultimate guide to the perfect review recipe why recipe you will know later uh, during madam Ayman's slide okay so now let's reintroduce to you what is review so this this is a question given by lembaga peperiksaan malaysia last year okay for all teachers and students okay uh, to at least know uh, the format of the question for review so here we have movies so what else can we review on okay so now we have to know what review is okay so what is review reviews are articles about something you have experienced but what about if they haven't experienced it madam Aiman? can they write a review about something they haven't experienced yes definitely okay you know why because you have learned in your textbook you have learned all of this topic since you're from one up till form five because you will be able to see that actually from Form 1 to Form 5, there are similarities with the topics that you have learned, more or less the same. Yes, very good. Now, people read your review, remember? The ones uh, who is very, very important for you to really uh, consider as your reader is always your examiner. So when people, your examiner, read your review because they want information as well as your opinion. So it should not be dry with a lot of information. You have to include your opinion as well. And your opinion must be backed by facts or information. Okay? So just imagine when you're writing a review, you are actually describing something. You are describing something. So you are trying to create a picture in your reader's mind, in your examiner's mind. So if you can create a very good, uh, precise pictures, then 
it will be very very interesting and the reader your examiner will be able to know what you are reviewing about but if you under describe it the picture won't be complete your review will not be complete if you over describe it by including a <coughs> long list of information dry information or only your opinion all right a lot of opinion on what you are reviewing on your review may be less interesting to read so remember less interesting could mean less mark okay exactly. yeah, next uh what can you review on all right you can review on a lot of things movies cd mall books hotel restaurant cafe sports game for example what happened uh this morning okay Bayern Munich against Inter Milan you can review on that game concert online shopping company like uh, Lazada Shopee online game mobile legend uh what best pro evolution soccer and services such as delivery health transportation and welfare basically the question can ask you about anything but remember you can prepare for it and hopefully we can help you with that all right okay now tip number one be familiar with the specific terms of what to be reviewed this is very important specific terms why as you can see book movie and tv show you can review you can put on the title you can review the title of the book is the title of the movie the title of the tv show is but you cannot use title for cafe you cannot yeah. use title for hotel and then you can use author for book the author of the book penulis buku but you cannot use the author of the movie okay yeah. so you have to know the specific terms for movie it should be the director all right mm. publisher for books no publisher for cafe or hotel all right so, so Mr. Imran, yeah. if the students are able to use apt correct terms so this yeah. will definitely impact which uh, assessment criteria uh vocabulary language and of course okay. your content. yes exactly yes. Uh, yeah okay, so girls uh kids it is very important that you use the right terms okay use the right term because it will definitely impact your uh, language marks i yes. think it will also affect your uh, communication uh, sorry communicative achievement achievement yes mm -mm. Mm, okay all right, thank you, Medaiman. Next, tip number two, know the layout of a, of a review. And please remember, this is not a, a must for you to do. Okay, it is flexible. It is up to you. You can have 10 words for introduction and more words for your points. But uh, just for your information, or you can practice this with, with your friends or with your teachers. Okay, you may have 30 words for your introduction and more words, of course, for your points your brief summary or your overview of what you are reviewing on and a requ requirement is what the question wants apa yang mm. soalan nak okay so the your content of course mm. and then your conclusion and please remember uh, try to include your recommendation okay and then you can include your recommendation uh, in paragraph 5 the conclusion mm. okay and then this layout to write uh, a film review a review is actually taken from your form for textbook page 93 full blast four okay mm -hmm. yeah. okay next always be prepared with areas to be covered in your review now we have already prepared for the terms and then the your layout now your review itself you must have the areas to be covered in your review basically for each topic both <coughs> what areas need to be covered on uh movie film okay so we'll see this one for example movie you can review on the storyline actors and special effects but remember be prepared beforehand okay mm. so you have to be prepared from now okay doesn't mm. mean that when you get your spm paper then you prepare. Oh, okay movie oh, i want to write about mm, storyline oh no, bad idea yeah yeah <laughs> so prepare from now prepare from yeah. now okay yes so you have to know so when you get the question okay fit, you know okay yo so i'm going to review on the menu the price the ambience a special offer okay so mm -hmm. be prepared with areas to be covered in each question for each question so you you can guess you can prepare for everything all right tv show concert you can uh, review on the songs guest artists or mm -hmm. concept 
Okay. If you have anything I, else to add, you can yeah. do so. Yes. Can I add a little bit? Of course. Special effects. I don't understand about special effects. Special effects like GCI. You know. Um. Yeah. Are you a fan of uh Avengers? Yes. Mm. So if you course. watch Avengers or Avatar, they use lots of CGI. So yeah. these are all special effects. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you watch you watch, if you watch Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> they did everything their own. No CGI. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, right? okay uh, so basically, knowing that, mm, so Rabi, <clears throat> so knowing that you don't know about special effects, these are areas that you mm. don't know, you're not familiar with. Yes. So, all the more reason for you to be prepared with it starting yes. from now. So I'm yes. sure that uh, your teacher have taught you how to utilize um, I think map. So what you can do mm -hmm. is, you know, you put in the middle movie, just one movie, and mm -hmm. then, you know, write down as many words related to the mm -hmm. movie that will help you to describe that particular yeah. movie, that help you to describe storyline, that helps you to describe actors and special mm -hmm. effects. But having this ready, based it in your class so that everybody can have a look at it. So imagine yeah. if you say your class have around 30 students, one person will do, you know, prepare one mind map for one topic. So imagine you will have 30 mind maps. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to decorate your class with unnecessary, you know, this and that. Instead, uh, <laughs> instead decorate your class with all these mind maps that will help you for your uh, for your SPM. Again. <laughs> yes, I agree with you 100%, my diamond. Okay, so remember, the key point is be prepared, okay, with the areas to be covered, uh, and then you can use the I think my map, like what Madam Maiman suggested. Okay, remember, be prepared with areas first, okay? So what uh, should be in your review <coughs> is about movie, the storyline, actors, special effects, or no special effects, it is up to you. Okay, next, be prepared with the language in the review, you are trying to promote something. You are trying to persuade. You are trying to convince the reader or you are trying to recommend. Okay, so be prepared with the language. So previously, it is about your content. You see, now it is about your language. So uh, when it comes to your language, it is also related to your communicative achievement, how you relay your ideas. Okay, and then you can use, for example, the words, uh, the phrases here. You must not miss the chance to to persuade. Okay, you can you can say you must not miss the chance to visit the heritage site, and you can still use the phrase you must not miss the chance to watch Avengers. You must not miss the chance to eat the cheesecake. So basically, you are preparing yourself with the language that can be used to persuade, convince, or recommend, which will be very helpful for you to write your review. Okay? Yep. Okay, you can say, I adore all the polite stuff at the cafe. If you're talking about a movie, I adore all the stars, movie stars in the movie Top Gun. Uh, okay, I'm crazy about the sound effects in the movie. I'm crazy about Harry Potter in the fourth Harry Potter book, for example. So basically, you are preparing with the phrases that can be used to persuade, convince, or recommend. Okay, again, be prepared. Yeah. My students used to um, call these sentences, you know, mm -hmm. a language used to persuade, convince, and recommend as mm -hmm. ayat ayat meracun. Uh, they say, yeah. yeah, all these ayat meracun, teacher. You know, why you call it ayat meracun? Yeah, lah, teacher, because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to buy pun, but when I hear mm -hmm. them, you know, Meracun, I dengan ayat ayat ni, so I also buy. So these are all ayat meracun. So how good you are? Yes. Meracun your apa uh, examiner? Yes. Definitely, uh -huh. you will get more marks. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Don't simply use I like this because I like this because I guess it is highly entertaining. It is highly rewarding. Okay, that's how you persuade in your essay. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> Next tip number four, uh, be prepared with language again to persuade yeah. and recommend. So there are a lot of phrases here. Actually, so there choose. are, yeah. to be precise, there are 27 mm -hmm. oh, sentences wow. in tip number four. So mm -hmm. kids at home, please go through the slides, screenshot, or you can go to Moodle as well. 
go through every single sentences and make yeah. sure for your next um mm -hmm. activity or practice whenever mm -hmm. you want to write a review make mm -hmm. sure that you use these sentences that we have shared tonight. yeah okay and please remember if you cannot remember all of them at least <coughs> choose uh, choose, choose some of the sentences that you can really remember and you can use well in your review. Okay? All right. <coughs> Next, tip number four. Oh, still, again, oh, 27 sentences I forgot. 27 okay, sentences, obviously, here, hmm. Apparently, the resort is always favoured by tourists. Apparently, the movie is always favoured by the critics. Uh, clearly, the food is a love, always favored by the what food critics. Okay, all right. Or you can use undoubtedly, indisputably, irrefutably. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow words. Wow words. Okay. Wow the restaurant words. serves the best chicken rice in town. The restaurant serves the best uh, chicken grill in town, or the, the cinema serves the best popcorn, the best satay. Okay. All right, uh, next is uh, be prepared with language to tell preference. So previously, you are trying to persuade. Okay, you are recommending. Now you are telling your preference. Okay, or giving mm -hmm. suggestion. So you can use, I would love to suggest a resort by the sea. I would love to suggest uh, the movie Top Gun. Okay, mm -hmm. watching Top Gun would be a perfect choice for you. Going to a zoo would be a perfect choice for you. So the phrases in yellow, you can use them to tell preference or to give suggestion. Yeah. Okay. And to add the diamond. Yes, exactly. So for, let's say you are reviewing on a movie. Okay. So you want to talk about Top Gun. So mm. to which cinema should they watch it? Uh, probably if mm. you know you're going with your whole family, going to TGV, um, mm. JB would be a perfect choice for you and your family because they have all these slides for the kids in the cinema, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Next, Moving on. Uh, tip number six, be prepared to write about <coughs> like and dislike. So this is what I've told you before. Don't simply write, I like this movie because I dislike this movie because I like cheesecake because. Yep. Use uh phrases another phrases that will help you to get more marks on your communicative achievement and your language okay mm -hmm. so uh replace i like this because one reason i am in favor of the concert is one reason i am in favor of the chocolate cake is uh, okay so one reason i am in favor of uh the movie harry potter and the philosopher's stone okay is it features more than five popular superstars, for example. Okay. The movie has many strengths and one of them is... Uh, the cake has many strengths and one of them is... The cinema has many strengths and one of them is... Uh, okay. You can use these phrases to tell your likes. Okay. So what about your dislike? Can you put your dislike in your review, Madam Iman? Yes, of course. Because it's your opinion, remember? Yeah. Nobody can say that it's wrong. If you don't like it, just because I like it doesn't mean Imran have to like it too. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you don't have to write, I dislike this because you can use one criticism I have is, or one of the drawbacks of the movie is, one of the drawbacks of the mall is, okay, you can use these phrases to help you write about your <coughs> like and your dislike. And please remember, be prepared. Okay, so you have to prepare from now, please, uh -huh. students. Do not uh, study last minute. Do not use this uh, uh, only on the last minute. Or the worst, yang paling teruk sekali, janganlah buka-buka kertas soalan baru lah. Oh, okay, nak tulis apa ni, nak guna apa ni. No. Uh -huh. Okay, so be prepared for it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Next, be prepared with words to describe poly. Now, phrases, study phrases. Macam mana uh -huh. nak rakar your review. So this one, your words. Okay, to describe quality or describe anything. Basically, your adjective kata sifat. This will help a lot for your language. And then, untuk huraian. Boleh kata untuk huraian lah. Okay, you can use the word excellent. But it will be better if you use outstanding, for example. Mm. You can use good, but it will be better if you use acceptable, worthy. 
Okay, but remember, these are all synonyms. Bukan perkataan hmm. sama maksud. Ha, dia hmm. hampir sama ataupun seerti. So, some word can be used for, uh, for example, movie, but some words cannot be used for, uh, for example, uh, you can use outstanding movie, hmm. but I believe we cannot use outstanding apa, cheesecake. Hmm. Uh, it's not uh, that uh, similar. Uh, but if you use fantastic cheesecake, maybe great cheesecake, better than you're using uh, outstanding properly. Okay? Which so this is why brings me back to my very first point. When you do all this mind map, you put the words in it so that you yeah. know what are the words that you want to use whenever you want to describe food? Mm. What are the words that you want to use whenever you want to describe hotel? So you put mm. everything mm. there. Okay? Okay, and then uh, please remember, if if you want to write, if you don't want to disturb your flow of writing, you can always write everything first and then you scan, you scan <coughs> your essay and you replace some of the words. Uh, okay, doesn't necessarily mean you need to use all wow, wow words or outstanding words, no. Okay, but you can replace some of them with uh, better words, of course, to help you to get better marks. Yeah. Okay? All right, to be prepared with words to describe for here. This one, excellent, good, satisfactory, bad, or poor. Okay, so next, tip number eight, please, please, you have to know the assessment scale for your essay, for each and every one of your essay. Okay, you can ask your teachers, obviously. All right, so for review, it is focusing on B2 level, independent users. Basically, the users will be uh, marked as if they are uh, independent users, they can use the language independently. All right. So for content, no problem to get five marks. Make sure all the requirements are fulfilled. Nothing is left out. All right. For your CA, communicative achievement. All right. You should have the right format and tone. For example, your review should be descriptive. Uh, menggambarkan, menceritakan, informative. Uh, memberi maklumat and convincing, meyakinkan. Uh, okay, mesti ada tu. Alright. And then, uh, organization, of course, please, you must have a variety of cohesive devices. Uh, this one will be touched by Madam Aiman after this. Cohesive devices, very important for you to get uh, organization marks. Hmm. Okay. And then for language, you have to display a range of simple and some complex vocabulary. That's why you should have uh, some wow words words yeah. that are of a higher level okay all right so that's the whole assessment scale all right now over to you madam Ayman. all right thank you imran for your wonderful explanation just now all right let's have a look at the question um kids <clears throat> so here just now madam imran mentioned that in order for you to get back <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Imran. Okay. Sorry, okay. Imran. <laughs> okay, just now Mr. Imran mentioned that in order for you to get five marks for mm. your content, you must mm. make sure that you fulfill the requirement of the task. Okay, in mm. order to do this, you must make sure you take the time to read the question carefully and identify what is it that the question wants. So, number one, the question asks you about movies. Send us your movie review. Okay, so here, knowing that it is about a movie, you must make sure that you know how to describe a little bit, give a little bit of information about the movie that you are going to describe. So, that is um, requirement number one. Next, say what you enjoyed about the movie. Requirement number two. Would you recommend the movie to your friends? Sometimes the question asks you, would you recommend the movie to your relatives? Or would you recommend the movie to your family? So you must read the question carefully so that you yeah. know you are writing the recommendation for who. Mm -hmm. Okay. If let's say, you know, you write a movie about Top Gun, probably you feel like it is not suitable for children. So you won't recommend it to your family members. But you think that, you know, because it's Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise is handsome, so you want to recommend it to your friends, okay? So basically, you must know when you write a recommendation, who are you going to address the recommendation to, okay? Next. <clears throat> okay, moving on. 
All right, so here's a sample of a review. You can have a look at this in your download textbook, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, at the yeah. back to book, 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 book. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, then probably you can do that tonight. But I am mm -hmm. not going to touch and describe all this because um, it is readily available to you. Just uh, go through it tonight. Okay. So now, before you start writing your review, you have to decide if your review will be mainly positive or negative because this will impact the way you organize your review later. All right. Now, next, decide what are the details that are important to include. Ah, decide what details are important to include here mm -hmm. is. The part where you do the mind map, which I check out that it yeah, yeah. mind map, you won't have this problem to decide hey, where am I gonna put in my uh, review. You tell that immediately. Okay, mm. you take what to movie, you tell that what is it that you're going to write about. Okay, not down to your ideas later. I'm going to show you how you can organize your ideas better. Okay, <clears throat> all right, moving on. Wow. Uh, wow. Imran. <laughs> this. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I, I did this with, with my wife uh, this morning. So I know what this is. Okay. Uh, what is this? <laughs> ah, okay. So how many of you here? I think Shafi. Hey, Shafi, if you are still here with us, how many of you, whenever you open the fridge, you can see this? Ah, your mom. I'm sure your mom have this ready available okay because you know all women we are all very clever okay <laughs> uh the karuma everybody just order want to eat this want to eat that so we have all this ready why because you know we need to make sure that we don't spend too much time cooking so we yeah. have sambal ready so that yeah. whenever my husband asks uh for bihun goreng <laughs> chop 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 there you go, bihun goreng. Whenever my <laughs> husband requests asam pedas, chap 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 asam pedas. <laughs> Whenever he requested ayam masak kicap pedas, chap chap chap. Mm. There. All right. So you <laughs> see, the whole reason why I have this sambal ready and why your wife was also very <laughs> yeah, I see every week my mother make it. <laughs> okay. Why all mothers? Uh, all mothers are clever. Why all mothers prepare this at home is because we want to speed up the process of cooking. Imagine, Rabi, if you ask your mom to prepare you what? Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng apa? Nasi goreng kampung, for example. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kan? Okay. Nasi goreng kampung. So, you see, it will take time nak blend this, nak blend that strawberry jam pula. Shapik, Shapik, help out your wife at home. Shapik, long lah ni. Okay, moving on. So, it is a, yes, it's sambal, pandai Rabi. Yeah. So, yeah, what we're going to do today is, we are going to prepare your sambal so that later, during your SPM, when you sit in that exam hall, Whenever you read the question, you won't have to spend too much time trying to figure out what is it that you need to do, what to write, ayat apa nak guna, macam mana nak kata, you know, yeah. all these problems that you normally have. So we are going to prepare this sambal so that whatever questions come out in your exam for review, you have this sambal ready so that you can goreng ah your review yeah so 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 far <laughs> do you all understand now what are the ingredients in order for you to prepare the perfect secret sambal you need one hook introduction okay catik ni the recipe you need one cohesive device to introduce idea so here, I'm giving you cohesive device to introduce idea. You cannot simply just choose any kind of cohesive device. It must serve the purpose to introduce idea. Yeah. Next, you must have three cohesive devices to add information. One cohesive device to show contrasting idea. Four sentences to express what you like. Two sentences to express what you dislike. 
and four sentences to recommend. Oh, sedap dah ni. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Medak Aiman, can yes. they add more cohesive devices, for example, four cohesive devices to add information? Yes, of course. Of course, you can add more. You know what? What you can do is you start mm-hmm. with three. Once mm-hmm. you have already mastered three, you change. Yeah. Okay, change to the new tree. So mm-hmm. if you do that, you have a number of creative devices ready. Otherwise, you will keep on using the same however, however, however. <laughs> you use however when you want to introduce idea. You use yeah. however whenever you want to add information. Mm. So you see, some students, because some students wonder why is it that they can't score um, high marks for organization even though they have, you know, Tabok, lots of cohesive devices. It doesn't work that way. When you use cohesive devices, you must make sure that, uh, you must make sure that the cohesive devices that you use will impact, akan memberi impact kepada the whole sentence, the flow of your um, apa, writing. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, so basically, uh, the students need to use the correct quality devices, cannot simply use any quality devices no. for information. If yeah. not, for example, garam, kita gantikan dengan gula. It will be yeah. uh, different uh, taste, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Kenal bagi betul, ya? All right, so, quote introduction. What, you know, my students, I don't know whether your students have this problem. My students, whenever they want to write essay, the introduction is the most difficult part. Mm-hmm. You know, to start off. Okay, so what you can do is you can prepare hook introduction, but you must make sure to make it versatile. Ah, check what is versatile? <laughs> ah, what is versatile? Ah, Azli, siapa lagi ni? Shafi, what is versatile? What do you understand by versatile? Asia, Asia, are you watching? Uh, what is versatile? <laughs> Students from Langka Suka, where are you? You don't know. Ah. <laughs> Rabi, versatile is like the sambal. Uh, you tengok, ah, it's the sambal that your mother prepared is mm-hmm. one sambal. But whatever it is that your mother will cook, your mother will put that sambal. From one sambal, she can turn it to many kinds of dishes. Ada banyak-banyak lauk mak you boleh masak with that mm. one sambal. So that mm. is what it means by versatile. Versatile is, it has the ability for you to adapt and adopt easily. Mm. Uh, adapt and adopt to senang. Okay? Mm. So you pelbagai can... Guna. Use... Ah, pelbagai guna. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pelbagai guna. Alright, so you can use any one of these strategies. Okay? Number one, you can use listing. For example, iPhone, smartphone, Huawei and Xiaomi are some of the well-known brands when it comes to smartphones. However, the new One 9 Pro changed my life completely. Wow. Okay. So that is listing. All right. Mm -hmm. Number two, you can use questioning. Are you tired of finding the perfect smartphones that will burn a hole in your pocket? Lucky for me, the search is over. Thanks to the new One 9 Pro smartphone. To dear, aku yang sedap beli kan? Okay, number three. You can also use your personal experience. I used to be jealous of my friends whenever they boasted about their smartphones. Now it's my turn. Ah, aku yeah. nak nak. Okay. Yeah. Nak nak. Ah, nak nak apa nak belajar? Eh? Okay. Nah, nah, nah. Uh-huh. All right. Nanti okay. Panggil hook tu, hook. Ha, yeah, nak tarik nah. yeah. yeah. Remember just now, Mr. Imran explained to you that in order for you to get high marks for communicative achievement, you must start off your as a review with a hook introduction. Kita nak make sure that the examiner, you know, the examiner baca your review terus dia rasa macam, ah, nak sama baca lah. Okay. So that will definitely gives you the extra for you to score. Uh, for communicative yeah. achievement. Okay? Now, <clears throat> cohesive devices. Just now we talk about cohesive devices, right? I said you must make sure you have cohesive devices to introduce ideas, to add information, and to show contrasting idea. So here are some of the examples. 
okay by making sure that you use the correct cohesive devices you will be able to ensure that the flow of your text is coherent okay barulah ada impact the cohesive mm. devices that you use okay all right so you must make sure you can differentiate the function of the cohesive devices kena kenal pasti fungsi cohesive devices that you are going to use moving on so so far do you all understand can you still follow please let me know please write in the chat box okay so that i can help and address mr imran pun can address um any yeah. issues or questions that you have okay so just now i said expressing what you like in the slide that mr imran has shared with you i think tip number tip number seven ke? If I'm not mistaken, probably uh -huh. tip number seven, go expressing what you like. Okay, Miss Imran mm -hmm. said, don't just say I like or I dislike. You can mm -hmm. say um, one positive aspect to be highlighted. You know those things, yeah. kan? Slide tadi kan. So mm -hmm. apart from that, you can also say the reason why I fell in love with. You know because bila you nak meracun kan, you macam over over skit kan? Bila you nak meracun kawan you. Kan? So, kena ayat pun over-over juga. The reason why I fell in love with her yeah. is what? Okay. The moment I set my eyes on the, I was absolutely captivated. Mm. Tengok aja cake tu. Allah, cake aja pun. The moment I set my eyes on the strawberry pavlova, I was absolutely captivated. Yeah. Who know? Tengok cantiknya. Okay. Because whenever I make pavlova, it's not that beautiful. No one will be captivated. Everybody will, you know, wonder whether or not they should eat it. Okay? <laughs> or you can also say, I'm impressed with, I am a fan of a bird because of it, you know. So have mm. these sentences ready. Mm. So what you can do is, whenever you want to prepare this, apart from, you know, try and use the one that we have shared, you mm -hmm. can also sit down with your teacher and ask your teacher, yeah. Cikgu, I want to say this. This is how I want to say. Macam mana nak cakap? And your teacher will help you to prepare sentences to express what you like. Okay, yeah. moving on. Now, how to cook the perfect review recipe? Mm -hmm. uh, just now, we have the ingredient. Tadi kita ada all the ingredients ready. We mm. have the bawang, the sambal, the everything, the ikan bile, the udang kering, the belacan. So now, how to cook the perfect review recipe. Step number one. Kadang-kadang kan ada bahan, you have all these really yeah. great uh, ingredients. Mm -hmm. But if you don't cook it right, tak jadi juga cek. Oh, Betul. Eh. Yeah, yeah, kan? Yeah, yeah. Uh, macam I lah. Kan, beli bahan tu. I <laughs> I one time brought a premix donut. And my <laughs> mom said, you know what? Try lah this one. Very easy. You have this fluffy donut. I tried. Didn't follow the right. Thing. You know. And then my um donut is um as hard as a rock. Okay, <laughs> and it smells sour the whole house. Okay, oh. feel that sour smell. I think probably I did the yeast wrong. But anyway. Just to show you how important it is that you follow the correct step. Yeah. So step number one is for paragraph number one. Okay. So what do you need to do? Read the question. Read the question carefully so that you know what you are writing a review on. And then you can utilize the hook introduction that you have prepared earlier. Remember that you need to adapt and adopt wisely. So just now. We have already prepared, like we have three different um, introduction, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to show you how if you have a really good and versatile introduction, yeah. you can go in anything. Okay? Yeah. So let's try with one. Are you tired of finding the perfect smartphone that won't burn a hole in your pocket? Lucky for me, the search is over thanks to the new One Nine Pro smartphones. Mm -hmm. Ah, ini I nak kena buat soalan kata review on a smartphone. So, I pakai ini. If, let's say, the question asks me, have you bought any a skincare product recently? I'm going to say, are you tired of finding the perfect skincare products that won't burn a hole in your pocket? Lucky for me, the search is over thanks to the new Wonder Dewey skincare line. Dah. I use the same 
hook introduction that I've prepared yeah. earlier, I just change it here and there. Sikit saja change, isn't it? Change to what the question wants, right? Change to what the question wants, yeah. exactly. Are you tired of finding the perfect movie for your whole family to watch? Lucky for me, the search is over thanks to Encanto the movie. Huh. Okay, so here I change a bit. I get the, oh, for this question, one burner hole in your pocket is not suitable. And to come, mm -hmm. we to change it, this and that. But you know what, Imran? Because I have yeah. all this ready, mm -hmm. I don't have to spend so much time when I want to start writing my introduction. I have this ready. Uh, so, kids, senang ke senang to <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> Senang ke senang? Ha? Please write in the chat box if you understand. Otherwise, nanti tak faham. Okay? Mm. Alright, moving on. <clears throat> Now, step number two. Now, step number two is for paragraph number two. Okay, in this paragraph, you are going to write a brief description or a brief summary of what you're writing a review on. For example, if you're writing a review on um, skincare products, so you have to write a little bit of information about the skincare product. Don't tell everything. Okay? Um, if let's say you're writing a review, don't tell everything that happened in the... Tadi saya kata apa? Movie ke novel? Movie eh? Movie, movie, yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you are going to write a review on movie, for example, Maverick, uh, Top mm. Gun, don't write everything because, you know, people don't like spoilers. Yeah. Don't tell what's the conflict, this and that. Just give a brief information about the movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, here, a uh, sample on um, review, yeah. skincare, skincare. Yeah, skincare all the way from Korea. That. What am I telling? I'm telling the origin of the product. Mm -hmm. okay? Wonder Dewey Skincare offers you a breakthrough beauty solution that will help you to achieve the Korean beauty. Nak oh, cantik macam orang Korea. Okay? Yeah. Suitable for all skin types. This is a very important information because, you know, when you want to buy a skincare products, you want to know whether it's suitable for your skin. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So here you know that it's suitable for all skin, care, skin types. This skincare is a must-have. That is six words. Next, another one. Encanto is a Colombian magical tale. So you know that this is a story about a Colombian family okay, that receives special powers after surviving a strategy. Oh, okay. They put in the power, right? Now, a few generations later, they live together in a magical house. Okay. They live together. Sounds like Colombian people. Each member develops their own talent, all except for one, Mirabel. So this is a very brief information. Mm -hmm. So, Cik Imran. Yeah. How am I, what am I supposed to do if I need to prepare all this brief information? I cannot just make things up in the exam yeah. hall. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do? Again, use your friends, use your teachers. Do it together. You can use the tips given by Madam Aiman. You can use your, uh, I think, map. Okay. And uh, you can write, prepare. Uh, for example, one student's prepared. Sorry, no one student. Uh, a group will prepare for movie. Uh, another yeah. group will prepare for skincare. Another group will prepare for mall or uh, books. Hmm. Is that correct? And you know what? It is only for, you know, 30 to 40 words. Yeah. 30 to 40 words saja, uh -huh. So what you can do is divide yourself in a few groups. Okay, one yeah. group will prepare one brief summary. And you know mm -hmm. what? If you feel like teacher to write a new one is susah lah, you can just find it online. Yeah. Okay. Online. Okay, mm -hmm. summarize it into compact 30 to 40 words worth of description okay no, because you know we are already in september okay and your um trial will be in early november, uh, november if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. and you know what in september we have lots of cuti nanti cuti apa pula uh, Hari Malaysia. Hari Malaysia, yeah. Ah, yeah. And then in October, you have this cuti di Pavali. So you must mm -hmm. work smart. You don't have to do all. You don't have to yeah. write from scratch. You know that, you know, 
Mr. Imra have already listed a number of areas that you need to write a review on. Yeah. Prepare one for novel, prepare one for mm. movies and things like that. Definitely going to help you. Okay. All right, moving and on. Please, and please remember, everything you do, please refer to your teachers for you, uh, for your teacher to check first. Ah, okay, jangan buat seorang-seorang, simpan seorang-seorang. No, ask your teachers. Mm. Confirm with your teachers. Okay? Yeah. Next. Okay. Now, step number three, paragraph three. So, in this paragraph, you must describe what you like. So, follow these steps. Okay. First, put a cohesive device to introduce your idea. Mm -hmm. And then followed by sentence to show what you like. Mm -hmm. Followed by your idea number one. Followed by the elaborations. Complete. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next sentence will be cohesive device number two, which is cohesive device to add information. Followed mm -hmm. by sentence to show what you like. Okay, mm -hmm. number two, because just now you prepared a few, isn't it? And yeah. then followed by idea number two and elaboration. Next, third sentence, cohesive device number three to add information. Mm -hmm. Sentence to show what you like, three. Okay, because just now you have already used two. Mm -hmm. uh, idea number three and a little bit of elaborations. Yeah. So I'm going to show you this is a sample. Okay, because you know, Every single sentence, okay, that we write carries a purpose. Setiap ayat yang kita guna, every phrases that we use serve a purpose. For example, first and foremost, cohesive device one. The main reason why I fell in love with the movie, that is sentence to show what you like, is Mirabel. That is my idea number one. I think the directors have done a great job at creating another kind-hearted movie about misfits trying to do the right thing. This is my elaboration. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you follow the recipe just now, if you prepare the sambal just now, first and foremost, you tak payah pikir. The main reason why I fell in love with the, you don't have to think. Okay? Yeah. You have all this ready. All you have to do is just put your idea, put elaboration, that's it. You see? Okay, next. In addition, this is cohesive device two. Another positive aspect to be highlighted is this is sentence to show what you like. The animation. This is idea number two. I am impressed with how the movie shines in its animation and design and symbolizes a house with doors to new worlds. This is my elaboration. Okay, so same goes with cohesive device number three and four, idea number three. Okay, so far, am I going too fast? Please write in the chat box. I have this concern because um, I tend to speak. Laju sikit. Laju kan? Okay, so you see, all together, if you follow this, okay, you have about 122 words. If let's say you potong potong all the sentences that you've prepared earlier with your sambal, though, I think, you know, you have if you want to add your own ideas, that's a part of saja. It's part of ideas. Part of saja lah you jawab. So imagine it helps you a lot for you um, during your SPM because you don't have that much time. Okay. All right, Rabi kata yeah. Okay. Good, Rabi. All right, moving on. Now step number four. Okay, step number four. You must describe what you dislike. Okay. Step number four for, for paragraph number four. Describe what you dislike. Okay, what do you need to do? Cohesive de one cohesive device, and then sentence to show what you dislike, and then one idea, and then elaborations. For example, so you know, just now you describe about what you like. Now you're going to describe what you dislike. So mm -hmm. the con uh, the cohesive device, you must use cohesive device to show contrasting ideas. Despite of all the wonderful things. Okay, despite of, okay, despite of is a cohesive device. Despite of all the wonderful things about the movie, I have only one negative criticism. This is sentence to show what you dislike. Mm -hmm. The one drawback of the movie would be this is again sentence to show what you dislike. It's unimpressive songs. This is your idea. What is it that you dislike? 
But surprisingly, I found myself humming to We Don't Talk About Bruno for a week. I guess I have to give the song an exception. This is elaboration. Elaboration. Now, I always uh, <clears throat> remind my students that whenever you want to talk about what you like and what you dislike, okay, when, especially when you want to talk about what you dislike, try not to choose something young so um what am I? vital as something that mm-hmm. you do. for example i don't like um the movie because it's boring la nothing else we talk about okay or i don't like the hotel okay mm-hmm. there's i the one um, major drawbacks of the hotel would be its room Mm-hmm. That's a bilik, you know. Bilik is like the the most important part when you're writing a review of mm-hmm. a hotel. Okay? Try to find something that you know not so big, tak 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 besar sangat. Or my students used love to do this trick. They mm-hmm. love to find something, uh, one little details. Mm-hmm. And then they make it negative, but actually they just want to show how much they like something. For example, they're writing a review on um, chicken chop, for instance. Okay, mm-hmm. the one negative comments that I have is the sauce is not enough. Okay, True. I just can help myself to dip in the sauce. So meaning that you know you love the sauce so much, if only they give you more. You know, mm-hmm. that would be great so you find little details make it as if you don't like it but actually you want to show just how much you love it mm-hmm. that is also a trick you know my 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 students like they love to do that okay because why because later they want whenever they want to recommend moving on to step number five mm-hmm. whenever they want to recommend they want to use all these wow words example do i recommend it to others absolutely personally i strongly feel that the movie is well worth watching okay so my students they like to prepare few paragraphs for recommendations Mm -hmm. so which is why if you're going to ultimately you are going to recommend it to people so Mm -hmm. definitely you know you cannot say so many negative things about Mm -hmm. the thing isn't it Okay, yeah. which is why they find little details, make it sound like they don't like it, but actually just to show the how much they love it. Okay, mm-hmm. so this is a sample of recommendations that I put together using, remember, the 28 sentences that Mr. Mm-hmm. Imran has shared. Mm-hmm. I don't come up with all this on my own. I read through every single set. 28 sentences mm-hmm. and I mix and match and mix and match and make sure that you know it has a good flow so you can do the same too you don't have to you know come up with everything on your own in fact now you have 28 sentences but mm-hmm. if you go to TripVisor if you go to Carly's if you go to Apple yeah booking.com you can mm-hmm. find mm-hmm. more reviews and you can you know print out and underline sentences just to show you know other ways of recommending something to someone yeah then you can update your list of words then you can come and tell me teacher you gave me 28 sentences now i've top up already now i have 50. Huh. Oh. okay so oh. you don't have to <laughs> so you won't have that problem of how do I say this and how do I say that? Right? So, yeah. Easy. <laughs> okay, remember, be prepared with it. Nah, yeah. Itu penting, penting sangat-sangat tu. Penting, yes, exactly. Wow. Mix and match, okay. mix and match, wow. Mix and match, just mix and match. You know what? Um, Whenever you prepare all this ready, you won't have to start from scratch. Yeah. All you have to do is just adapt and adopt. You must make sure that you make whatever sentences that you prepare, make it versatile. Like the samba, 
you know you can turn it into many kinds of review you can use it for any kinds of review mm -hmm. so you know we have to be smart isn't it yeah true mm. okay. next now so just now we have already um go through every single step okay so here this is a sample of the final product okay mm -hmm. from step one up to step five so if i counted correctly mm -hmm. i think we have about um 308 sentences oh. here okay oh. yeah 308 sentences here so 308 words good uh, sorry 308 <laughs> words oh need Tengoklah ni, telefon, duduk mesej. Tak boleh fokus. Sis, ada orang mesej. Okay. 308 words. Alright. So, you have for your for part 3, you have to write about 250 words, kan? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. So, here you have 308. So, you know, um, definitely, definitely, if you have your sambal ready, okay, you have all the ingredients ready sentences ready you've prepared everything mm. you will be able you won't have problems to write these 308 words okay mm -hmm. so let us uh, try and go through imran you like yeah. To read? yeah okay no problem all right so are you tired of finding the perfect movie for your whole family to watch lucky for me the search is over thanks to encanto the movie so that's the introduction <laughs> Okay, so the hook introduction. All right, the Encanto is a Colombian magical tale of a family that received special powers after surviving a tragedy. Now, a few generations later, they live together in a magical house and each member develops their own talent, all except for one, Mirabel. Okay, 40 words for the second paragraph. First and foremost, the first cohesive device the main reason why I fell in love with the movie is Mirabelle. I think the directors have done a great job at creating another kind-hearted movie about misfits trying to do the right thing. In addition, another currency device, another positive aspect to be highlighted is the animation. I'm impressed with how the movie shines in its animation and design and symbolizes the house with doors to new worlds. Not to forget, another good side of the movie is it did a brilliant job at highlighting issues on immigrant. I honestly believe that perhaps this movie will give a new generation a better sense of belonging and a deep sense of appreciation of what we have in Malaysia. So now you are tying it to our real life in our country okay good despite of again what Madam Aman said cohesive devices despite of all the wonderful things about the movie I have only one negative criticism the one drawback of the movie would be its unimpressive songs but surprisingly I found myself humming to we don't talk about Bruno for a week I guess I have to give the song an exception would I recommend it to others absolutely personally i strongly feel that the movie is well worth watching so your recommendation the movie is beyond my expecting expectation most of the things about the movie is impressive well i guess it is not too much if i say i would vote encanto as the movie of the year so are you what are you waiting, waiting for bring your whole family to the nearest cinema and watch encanto at least once you will never regret it. Mm, so, so what no, I can see here, uh, Madam Aiman, what you yes. did here, uh, you can change uh, for your recommendation for your last paragraph. You can change the word movie with food, uh, yeah. fill up, bond, and then uh, the movie is beyond my expectation. The chicken chop is beyond my expectation. The cheese. Okay, let's chicken. play a game. Let's play a game. Yumran, let's yeah. play a game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give you one. Okay, uh -huh. all right, and then you are going to give me the recommendation using the one I have prepared. Okay, all right, no problem. Okay, <clears throat> let's try with uh, uh -huh. Prodo Asia. 
Produk Asia. Okay. Tak lama produk Asia dah lama ada produk Asia. No, no, no. Uh, Azza, produk Azza. Azza. Ah, Azza. produk Azza. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. Would I recommend it or would I recommend uh, produk Azza to others? Absolutely. Personally, I strongly feel that the car or I strongly I strongly feel that produk Azza is well worth buying. Buying, yeah. <laughs> the, the car is beyond my expectation. Most of the things about the car is impressive. Well, I guess it is not too much if I say I would vote Produa Alza as the car of the year. So what are you waiting for? Bring your whole family to the nearest Produa Center and buy Produa Alza. You will never regret it. Ha, cemerlang. Ha. <laughs> okay, next, next, yeah. next. Okay. next. Next, what else? I think we need to ask our students to give yeah. one. Hmm. Okay. What else are we going to recommend? Hmm. Uh, Palagi ya. What else? Okay. I... Can I have you recommend uh, a restaurant? Okay. Uh, Pak re Mat Western. Pak Mat Western. Okay. Yeah. Would I recommend it to others? Absolutely. Personally, I strongly feel that uh, coming bakar Pak Mat hmm. Western is well worth trying the mm -hmm. the lamb chop is beyond my expectation oh, most wow. of the things about the lamb chop is impressive well i guess mm -hmm. it's not too much to say if i say i would vote Park Mark western as the lamb chop of the year <laughs> <laughs> so what are you waiting for bring your whole family to the nearest uh Park Mark western, western. Uh, restaurant today restaurant, eh? and try Pak Mat Western mm. lamb chop at least once. You will mm. never regret it. Oh, oh full mark. No, full mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so actually, isn't it? It's not that yeah. difficult. Okay. Mm -hmm. If this is only one, right? This mm -hmm. is one mm -hmm. sample. If mm -hmm. let's say you have five ready. Yeah, mm. my favorite place for me to spend time, isn't it? So you know what, Imran, I really feel mm. that review is something that uh, achievable. Okay, it's yeah. not yeah. as difficult as other question. Why? Because mm -hmm. it is our personal opinion. Yeah. Right. It is our personal opinion. We we love Park Mat Western. Not a big fan of Pak Mat Western. I'm a mama sub in the team. But, you know, this is personal opinion. So you can yeah. write anything you like as long mm -hmm. as it makes sense. Yeah. Isn't it? So I think that it is um, it is sad, okay, if yeah. students don't try and prepare uh, for their review. Mm. Because you can get samples everywhere. I love reading. Well, I don't think Shopee is a good place for you to look for review because all they write is just, you know, <laughs> uh, the delivery, nice. Okay, nice delivery, <laughs> nice packaging. They say nothing about the product, okay? Mm -hmm. But, you know, it goes to show that whenever you want to buy something, you will look for the review because you're going yeah. to spend money on it. All right. So it is very important that we learn how to write a really good review, informative mm. review that will, um, what do we call that? That will uh, convince um, readers to try mm -hmm. the product as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> um, Imran. Yeah. Anything you want to add? Anything you want to add? <laughs> okay, uh, okay. So, uh, easy to uh, to explain for you, students, especially for those with lower proficiency level. So you are actually creating a template. Ah, ha, kita tak buat hmm. siap siap dah rangka. Kita cuma isi 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 dengan yeah. on sahaja <coughs> what the question okay. wants. Yeah. Ha. So I think um, we are now in September. We have lots of time for you to practice mm -hmm. this. Okay. So please go through again these slides mm -hmm. and um, go through the sentences that we have shared tonight. Mm -hmm. I will have to give credits to um, Mr. Zanurin yeah. for preparing tip number one, tip number uh, eight, all mm -hmm. the words and phrases that can help mm -hmm. students to better um 
form whenever they write review mm -hmm. okay because if you have this color mm -hmm. you utilize this strategy mm -hmm. first of all you got a good introduction there that is already point for communicative achievement and then if you prepare all these different uh, summaries and descriptions about various mm -hmm. uh, products you will not have problems to write a brief mm -hmm. summary okay and then if you have all these cohesive devices ready mm -hmm. all the sentences phrases ready you won't have problems to you know macam mana nak kata macam mana nak kata oh, my students always yeah. have this problem teacher macam mana nak kata i'm like what do you mean by macam mana nak kata this <laughs> <swear> already okay <laughs> So, you know, in class, yes, in class, you can have this problem, macam mana nak kata, but then in exam hall, you don't have that luxury of, you know, thinking about macam mana nak kata something. You must have all this ready because you remember for your writing paper, you have to write three mm -hmm. different essays, email and then essay for part two, for part three i noticed that some students still struggle to manage their time whenever they sit for their writing paper so by using this strategy we hope that you will be able uh, we can help to reduce your anxiety whenever you want to write your essay your review mm -hmm. and that it can help you to be more confident to try and attempt question for part three mm. at least you can write review okay if let's say i think uh for our next session maybe someone will share strategies on how to write article and mm -hmm. and a story but for now okay because our next uh lesson will be in october if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. like it's next contact with the students can mm -hmm. so before our next lesson, while waiting for our next lesson, what students can do is they can practice with these strategies starting from now, prepare all the sentences ready so that you can, you know, uh, start off quickly compared mm -hmm. to your friends who don't prepare their uh, sample sentences and template. Yes. Okay, and then uh, credit should be given to Beda Aiman too, uh, guys, because... Uh, if you look at the phrases here, if you look at the phrases uh, given, the ingredient given by Madam Aiman, you can also use the phrases, uh, the crazy devices for your speaking part, actually. Uh, and then the one prepared by her in Sora Sora can also be used, actually, in your review. Uh, okay, for example, you can use, uh, but I, I, I may not be I may not be an expert, but okay. Mm. Ah, okay. I'm I not an like, expert about car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not an expert about car, yeah. but I know that you know <laughs> this car has a very um good handling, superb mm -hmm. handling, yeah, outstanding handling experience. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can we write review about Malay movie? Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. You can write, you can even write review about Tamil movie, huh? Yeah. Good <laughs> lah. Right. But you must make sure that the review is in English language. English. Okay. Yeah. If you want to write a review on Trita Baru ni apa? Air Force. Air uh, Force, yes. Air Force or Mat Kilau. Mat Kilau, yes. And, okay. But you must make sure that the review is in English. English yes. If I'm not mistaken, the review in the full blast textbook is Ola Bola, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes, and Ola Bola, yes. Is mm -hmm. a Malay movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Abang Long Fadil Tiga, yes. Go and watch Abang Long Fadil. You know what? Ask your teacher. Teacher, we need to make an outing. Uh, we need to have an outing to GSC. Okay. For educational purposes, yes. Watch movie. Okay, write review and then go to a nearest restaurant. Write review about the restaurant pula. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go back with a public transport. Review on public transport then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alasan aja kan? Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, to finish up, Madam Yep. 
So when you have finished writing, you must make sure that you check. You know what, uh, Imran? Some of my students, whenever they done uh, their writing, they will yeah. look at you know. Ah, oh, I have written a lot. I say, hey, check what you have written. They look yeah. at that and say, good job. <laughs> I have written a lot. But you know what? When we, mm -hmm. your teachers tell you that if you have finished writing, you need mm -hmm. to check your essay. Mm -hmm. What we mean by that is you must make sure that you check whether or not you follow the plan. Yeah. Whether or not you have addressed all the requirements, all mm -hmm. the task requirements, okay? Make sure whether or not you have included all the important details that you have targeted. Mm -hmm. And then check whether or not you have given enough example to support your ideas, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Check whether or not you have given a clear recommendations. Then only after that, mm -hmm. you check for spelling, you check for grammar, you check for your punctuation, or you can also check the words, you know, the adjective yeah. that you use. You yes. know, probably you want, you, if you have good, probably you want to change it to what? Outstanding. Um, worthy, outstanding, you know, things, mm -hmm. this and that. Okay? So mm -hmm. that is how you check your writing. But in order for you to have that time to check your writing, you must make sure that you completed your essay at least five minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm, before the time ended yeah. because if let's say you don't utilize and manage your time well you will not have time to track uh, to go through because yeah. definitely you will make mistakes here and there okay mm -hmm. mistakes here and there so it's good that if you follow you know this strategy this all the strategies are used in order to help you to better manage your time in your yeah. Exam. So having this ready, okay, mm -hmm. you we hope that you will be able to finish writing five minutes before the time, mm -hmm. and then you have that extra five minutes for you to check your uh, finished products if mm -hmm. you want to make changes here and there. Okay. So yeah. Any other yeah, for question? me, uh, it is actually a waste, for, uh, especially for students with a higher level of proficiency, if you don't have the time to check for your mistakes. Yeah. For example, uh, during my media exam for my students, uh, some of my students forgot to put comma, forgot to put their yeah. about full stop. So mm -hmm. they lose marks there. I do. Yeah, because you have to remember for part three, Okay, in order for you to get full marks, you must show, um, demonstrate mm. that you are at C1 level. Mm, yeah. Okay, at low C1 level. Mm -hmm. So if you cannot demonstrate that, you will not be able to get five marks. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the, the, the way the examiner will mark will be a bit strict yeah okay. so i'm going to tell you if let's say you follow the strategies that we have shared you mm -hmm. can score five marks for your content no problem yeah. okay if you utilize the sentences that we have shared i think mm -hmm. you know if let's say you say teacher i thought about proficient but mm -hmm. i think you can still score three marks yeah. for your communicative achievement mm -hmm. because the way you write your ideas the way you introduce your ideas is good okay it enables the reader to see ah ini dia nak cakap benda yang dia suka ah mm. ini dia nak bagi reason ah you know so mm. the way you present your ideas to is clear to the examiner they don't have to guess what is it that you're trying to say mm. okay and then what else Apologies. organization organization yeah if you follow the strategies the steps mm. you will have you know good paragraphing mm. you will have Active devices uh, yeah, cohesive devices. It will ensure the flow of your text. There, no issues. I don't think there's any reason why you cannot get five marks. Okay, and then probably for a uh, language. Okay, you're going to make mistakes here and there. Probably they you will lose mark a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you must make sure that you can score five marks for content and five mm -hmm. marks for organization. That yeah. is a must. Kenapa emas? Oh, dia kenapa emas? 
Dia kata, Fana misalkan, if my maths is correct, cewa. Yeah. <laughs> my maths is correct. If you can have five marks for uh, content and organization, mm-hmm. that is already um, 4%, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Okay. Yeah, 4%. Mm-hmm. So that's Out of 25. Out of 25. 25. Yeah. So you must make sure that you score five marks mm-hmm. for content, five marks for organization, for mm-hmm. every single part of your writing paper. Mm-hmm. That will bring you to 20 marks. Then, you mark, you mark, you Eh, you mark, you mark, you mark, you mark, you Sepuluh kali tiga, tiga puluh. Tiga puluh. Sorry, this is cikgu ini. Tiga puluh out of sixty. Tiga puluh out of sixty. Ah. Isn't it? Tiga puluh out of sixty, yeah. that is what? Twelve percent. Ah, so, yeah. yeah. Isn't it? So, I guess uh, that's it for today. <laughs> so, how was it kids? Faham ke? Faham ke? How? Faham tu, faham tu, insyaAllah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so I really hope that, you know, you can go through this um, strategy, this uh, video again. If let's say you want to um, refresh about what we have learned tonight. Okay, mm-hmm. and I really, really hope that our session tonight benefit you in some way. Okay, so all the best. Amin, all the best for your um, SPM. All the best mm-hmm. for your trial. Make sure that you apply this for your trial so that you can see whether or not you have mastered the strategy. Okay, so thank you, Imran. All right, thank you, Mada Iman. Thank you, everyone, for your comment, for your bye question. Bye. See you later. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Bye.